Hey guys, ECRG here, back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about the best way to get into the clinical research as your career, or one of the best ways. There are many good ways, but this is the best way in my opinion, because this is the way that I actually got into clinical research. So I'm actually kind of biased with this. Uh, so this is for people that are, you know, maybe fresh out of college, looking to get into clinical research or looking to make a career change to get into clinical research. A lot of people are interested in moving over to clinical research. Maybe they're, they are in bench research or something and they want to get into the more clinical side. That's all fine. That's all good. But it's very hard to get your foot in the door because a lot of positions want some experience. Also, it's getting more and more competitive to get your foot in the door in clinical research. And it's so competitive, even way more competitive than when I first got started in 2015, 2016. Uh, and so it's gotten even more competitive. So that's why you got to be on top of positions. You got to check the job boards, Indeed, check the individual CROs, check the company's website where you want to work at on a daily basis. I'm not kidding, guys. Daily basis, every single day. That should be the first thing you do when you're at the end of the day or whenever you decide to do it at lunch or whatever. You've got to do it every single day. And so I was looking on the job boards today and I found this position that is going to be great for you entry level folks looking to get into clinical research. Um, but before we get into that, I'd like to first tell you about the resume review program we have going on. So, like I said before, it is increasingly competitive to get into clinical research. Very, very competitive. Recruiters are getting hundreds and hundreds of resumes. So, if you just have an average resume, um, if you don't know the techniques that you need to get into clinical research, if you aren't familiar with some of the terminology used, you're not even going to make it past the algorithm, the, the screen. You're not even going to make it past the electronic system that screens out your resume. So there's not a lot of information out there about it, but we are offering a personal service for you. Uh, it's very reasonably priced. You email us your resume, and we're going to help you work with you one-on-one -on -one to tweak your resume, to enhance your resume, to get it past those screens, and to get it into recruiters and hiring managers' hands so you have a much, much better chance of getting hired in clinical research industry. Now, not only are we going to discuss your resume with you, we're going to give you tips and strategies on how to best use your resume to land a job in clinical research. So if you're interested in that, email us eliteclinicalgroup at gmail.com. Now back to the video. So the position is, I'm um, going to turn down my brightness here. So the position is um, it's an entry-level role, like I said, and don't get freaked out by the pay. I know a lot of people, uh, you know, you're coming from other roles or whatever. you got to start at the bottom. Uh, maybe you've ascended in other industries, but you've got to start from the bottom in clinical research usually. Um, so don't get freaked out by the pay, but just, just imagine that in a few years, it'll all be worth it. So here it is just came out it's based in north carolina uh, fortunately or unfortunately for you depending on where you're located but let me see if i can okay here it is on the right so this is a junior clinical trials associate position now this is a great way for someone who has not been in clinical research before to get acclimated to the clinical research position as you can see so basically, I'm just going to read the summary. It's responsible for supporting the CTA and ensuring all assigned projects for clinical operations are performed timely and accurately while interfacing directly with in-house personnel and field employees. The junior clinical trials associate develops required tools, forms, and documents and provides additional administrative support for clinical operations. So this is going to be a three-month contract, ideal for college students looking to gain experience. So this is how I got my start in the clinical research. It was a three-month contract with the possibility to be extended. Um, but ultimately, I got into the company full-time and worked my way up, uh, you know, over the course of those years. 
So this is a great way. And I know a lot of people may get freaked out by the three month contract. Hey, that's not really that stable or hey, that's not that that long. What am I going to do after that? Well, this is just an opportunity for you to get your foot in the door. It's up to you to hustle and make it happen after that. Now, if you're scared about that, we have over 100 videos on the channel now talking about how to hustle into your dream job, how to get your foot in the door. Once you have an a internship, how to make sure you get hired. We have content about that already, slash we're going to be making more content uh, to go along with that. So if you're interested in that, make sure you comment down below if you're watching on YouTube or email us at eliteclinicalgroup at gmail.com if you're on the podcast. But... This is a great opportunity for get your foot in the door. And like I've said in plenty of episodes before, it is a lot easier once you have experience on your resume to get either another contract, to get a contract extension, or to get a full-time job. So once you get a once you get some experience under your belt, it becomes 10 times easier. The pe- the recruiters will be calling you as soon as you change that on your LinkedIn. So It's a game changer once you get some experience. So don't worry about the $15 an hour or however much they're paying you for your opportunity. Just worry about the experience. The money will come later. I promise you. So this is a great role. Look out for roles like this and just treat it like a summer internship. It's it's summertime right now. So just treat it like a summer internship, like like I know you do, I know it says for college graduates, but just treat it like a summer internship like you were in college. Uh, it's not that big a deal. And, you know, save your money, work, uh, live below your means for that time as much as possible. Uh, d- but don't worry, an opportunity is going to be coming your way once you get some experience. So look out for these guys. You should see more and more. The clinical research industry is heating up right now. Uh, you've seen my video on that. It's heating up right now, guys. So be patient, stay hungry, stay motivated. Let's get it, guys. So any inquiries, any questions, you want to become a part of the resume review program, submit your resume, eliteclinicalgroup at gmail.com, and we'll go from there. Thanks, guys.